G'day you mob, Pete here from Aussie English and welcome to the number one place for anyone and everyone wanting to learn Australian English. Today I'm going to be helping you understand fast English when the auxiliary verbs do and does are contracted onto pronouns in English, in spoken English. And you might be thinking, does it really matter? Do I really need to learn this? It does matter and you definitely do need to learn this if you want to speak English more confidently and sound more like an advanced English speaker, like a native English speaker, if you really want to use that term. So, I'm going to break down the pronunciation of the auxiliary verb with the pronoun and then I'm going to give you three exercise sentences that you can repeat after me, okay? So, if you need to pause the video at any time to read these sentences aloud, go for it. Find somewhere you're comfortable where you can speak out loud so that we can level up your pronunciation as well as your listening comprehension. Don't forget, guys, make sure that you stay until the end of this episode because I have a special gift for you that's going to really help you level up your spoken English. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. So, number one. All right. We'll start from the start. Do I. Do I. I. The first pronunciation change you'll notice here when these are said more closer together, do I, do I, is that this weird little W appears out of nowhere between the two vowel sounds, oo and I. Do I, do I. So, we're linking these, okay? If you need to check out the linking video on these different sounds, W's, Y's and R's, go up here. Do I, do I. The next step, we reduce the oo vowel sound in the word do. Because now it becomes unstressed, we turn it into a schwa sound, that uh schwa sound, the most common vowel in English, uh, okay? So, now it sounds like dewy, 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 dewy. So, let's go through some example sentences. Do I want to know what happened? I'm a bit sus, I'm not sure. Do I want to know? Do I want to know? Do I really want to know? Do I care what he thinks? Do I? Do I care what he thinks? Do I really believe you? Do I really believe you? All right, number two, do you. And I love this one. This is a great one because it's the weirdest of the bunch, the strangest of all the ones we'll go through and you're about to see why. Do you, same vowel sound, but we have d and y, okay? Do you. The next step, we turn the u vowel sound in the word do into a schwa, d you, d you, do you, do you. And then when we speak really quickly, that schwa disappears, as does the d and as does the y sound. The d and the y merge and you're going to hear J. Okay, so you're going to hear ju, ju. So instead of do you, do you, ju. Let's go through some examples. Do you want to get something to eat? In fact, in fact, I should I should take this a further step. You're going to hear j. You're going to hear j. It's not just going to be ju, that oo sound in that word, that contracted version. Ju is actually going to become a schwa as well. J. So you're going to hear. Do you want to get something to eat? Do you want to get something to eat? Do you think that's true? Do you like chocolate? So, j, j, j. Do you like chocolate? Number three. Does he. Does he. You probably know the pattern if you saw the previous video and go and check that out up here. But when we have words beginning with H in connected speech, when there is a consonant before that H, the H can disappear. We call that H deletion. So, instead of does he, the first step to contracting this is removing that H and you're going to hear does he, does he, does he. I got ahead of myself. The next step is where we turn that a uh sound in does into a schwa uh sound. So, you're going to hear does he. Do Z and the emphasis is on the syllable Z. Do Z. Do Z. Let's go through some sentences. Does he live nearby? 
Does he want to go surfing? Does he play footy? Does he? Does he? Does he? Number four. Does she? Does she? The first step here, because we have a Z sound next to a sh sound, the Z disappears. You're going to hear da she. Does she? Does she? And then the next step after that is reducing the a uh sound to a schwa. Does she? Does she? Emphasis on she. Does she? Does she know who you are? Does she go camping often? Does she drive fast? Number five. Do we. Do we. The oo sound in do is contracted. It's unstressed. It's turned into the schwa sound. Uh, do we. Do we. And sometimes you may not even hear the schwa sound and you'll just hear dwe. Dwe. So I'm going to say these naturally. See if you can pick which one I'm using. Am I saying do we or am I saying dwe? Do we know the answer? Do we look like fools? Do we ever go rock climbing? So yeah, here I think I would say that little schwa sound. Do we? It's very slight. Do we? Do we? Do we? Number six. Do they? Do they? Do they? The first and only step here really in contracting do they is to reduce the oo sound into the schwa. Do they? Do they? Let's go through some examples. Do they want to come inside? Do they play chess? Do they like rock music? Number seven, the very last one here, guys. Does it? Does it? So the first step here is linking the z sound at the end of does with the vowel i at the front of the word it. Does it. Does it. The next step is turning the a uh vowel sound in does into a schwa. Does it. Does it. Let's go through some example sentences. And firstly, have a listen to this first sentence and see if you can notice what happens to the T in the word it. Is it a hard T? Or is it a T flap, like a R, right? Like in the word water. Have a listen. Does it even matter? Does it even matter? Hard T or T flap? It was a T flap, right? You've got a vowel on either side of the T, so we use the T flap instead of a hard T. It's not does it even matter? It's does it even matter? Does it even matter? Does it even matter? Two more examples. Does it look like it'll rain? Does it look like it'll rain? Another weird thing happened with that T. It turned into a glottal stop. We muted it because there was an L sound after it. Does it look like it'll rain? Does it? Does it? Lastly, does it take long to get there? Does it take long to get there? Good job, guys. Good job. Now let's go through a little recap here and then I'll tell you about the little surprise that I've got for you. All right. So in this little recap, we're just going to go through each of the different pairs of words, right? The auxiliary verb and the pronoun. Do I, do you. And then after that, I'll say a sentence for each one of them. Okay. Listen and repeat after me. Do I. Do I. Do I want to know. Do you. Do or j. Do you want to know. Does he. Does he, does he want to know? Does she, does she, does she want to know? Do we, do we, do we want to know? I like how I turn my face each time I say this, like, mm, I'm a bit suspect. Do they, 
Do they? Do they want to know? Does it? Does it? Does it want to know? Good job, guys. So as I promised at the start, I have a special gift for you that is going to really help you improve your spoken English pronunciation rapidly. For the next 24 hours after this episode has been released, you will be able to sign up for the Australian pronunciation course using the link below the video for 33% off, okay? You will save a third on the normal price. So go and join up. You will learn how to use the international phonetic alphabet. That was all those weird symbols that were appearing on screen next to the words and phrases that we were using. You will then learn all of the different vowel sounds in Australian English, all of the different consonant sounds with detailed tutorials and exercises so that you can master every single sound in Australian English. And then finally, I recently added 25 advanced pronunciation lessons. These are things that focus on contractions and sound changes and consonant clusters and difficult consonants like the syllabic L and N, uh, the Australian R. There are a lot of these little tidbits in there, little really crucial nuggets that if you want to sound more natural when speaking English, you really need to learn. Okay, so go and check that out. Hopefully, you can join up in the next 24 hours and get yourself a fair dinkum bargain. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I'm Pete. This is Aussie English, and I will see you in the next episode.